Hi guys, it's Paul from Paul Cole Cricket and I'm here at Uzi Sports in their breakout area to show you a couple more uh, Kookaburra bats. Um, this is the Vapor uh, 3.1. Uh, you'll notice this one behind me as well. Uh, both hand-picked uh, by Uzi Sports uh, from the Kookaburra warehouse. Uh, uh, 2023, introduction to the range, but yet to feature on this uh, channel. Um, and this one in particular stands out to me. I think it's a in my opinion, misgraded because this is a grade three English willow bat, as 3.1 uh, suggests there. Uh, but there's eight grains, all sapred, and pretty much no blemishes at all here. So that's, you know, I've seen some grade one bats that don't look as nice as this. So, yeah, uh, you could argue it's a great job of hand picking and potentially some misgrading on the part of Cooker, at least in my opinion. Um, so, great value for money, therefore. But yeah, the vapor in terms of the shape, uh, hopefully, you saw seen the video I did of the stealth. You might remember that had a really low middle and quite chunky bat as well. This one's got a high middle. Uh, it's, it's still not high, but you know, mid, mid blade middle, 215 to 235 millimeters from the toe. So it's good for all, all round stroke play off both the front foot and the back foot. And you've got a duck bill toe there, a real noticeable uh, duck bill toe to help with the, the weight distribution and the pickup. Uh, uh, the toes are not massive on these bats, so 17, 18 millimeters. Uh, but the edges aren't too bad at 36 uh, millimeters and then a 57 millimeter spine on this piece. And according to Kookaburra, one to two millimeters of scalloping, although it looks a bit more concave on this than there was on, on the Stealth, uh, which is also one to two uh, millimeters. I'd call that slight uh, concaving. But, you know, still a re reason that would uh, to either side, so fairly wide uh, middle if, you, if you're hitting it off center. I do find the name Vapor a bit of a curious uh, choice from Cookerbury, given that Grey Nichols uh, have a Vapor uh, bat that came out before this, and you may have seen that video on the channel uh, as, as well. So I think in terms of originality, uh, they, they could be doing maybe a bit better there, really, than uh, just pinching a name from one of their main competitors. So that surprises me a little bit. Uh, but I do really like the branding and, and the stickers. They've uh, gone for this, this blue, sort of a baby blue kind of color. Uh, which is present on the back as well. Some nice embossing here. Just looks nice and smart as well. I, I really like the look, the look of it, to be honest. And then in terms of the bow, uh, there's a sort of a mid-blade bow as well there, which is also uh, should help uh, with the pickup. But let's uh, check now. The bat is £2.9, incidentally. With a mid-middle, it feels, yeah, it feels very nicely balanced. That um, Feels max 2.8, 2.8 and a half, I'd say. So definitely feels lighter than, than its weight for me. Um, so yeah, pressed with that. Uh, and then in terms of the finishing, as usual with Cookabra, I, I like their toe guards uh, with the uh, logo in there, that same color, it just looks nice and smart. Looks pretty good quality as well, I think. But there's no anti-scuff sheet or edge tape or anything like that. It's a natural finish if you were to get the bat, but you might want to add something like that. Um, the edges have been rounded, um, but you still, I'd still recommend at least an hour, an hour and a half of knocking in from the toe, you know, all the way up the face here as well. It's a service Uzi Sports could also provide if you were to get the bat. I mentioned on the stealth video how I didn't like how the grip didn't go <laughs> totally to the top of the handle. Um, and in that case, it was a shorter blade, longer handle bat. So I could kind of understand why it didn't cover, but I, I can't understand it here because the stealth, sorry, the vapor, is a normal length blade and handle, but the grip is still not long enough to, <laughs> to get up to the top. And that's present on, on both of them. So, yeah, I don't know if this is just a, um, a bad, bad batch or something. Something's happening with these grips with Kookaburra of late. I don't remember it being so much of an issue before. Um, but anyway, and then we've got this sort of half moon uh, star grip, which I, I like the quality. I've seen it with some other brands as well. Um, and then an oval handle, yeah, it's noticeably oval at the bottom there. Quite thick handle as well. So if you like me and have big hands, might be a good option for you. That definitely helps with the weight distribution too. Um, but yeah, good if you're a top-handed player in particular with that oval handle, um, uh, not allowing your bottom hand to get too, too involved uh, with the stroke play. Without further ado then, let's do the good old mallet test, uh, working away from the toe up to the base of the stickers before I bounce the ball on it. So I said, definitely sounding better around the middle, um, which is the mid blade here. Let's see what it's like up high as well. And down low.
yeah, not the best lower down, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's the longest sweet spot. Very good within that sweet spot, and not too bad up high. But when you go lower down, that's where I start to notice that. So uh, of the two cooker brabats I've reviewed, definitely the Stealth is a better option for those slow English pitches. Uh, but if you're playing a bit more uh, back foot stuff, um, uh, you know, on slightly faster pitches, then the Vapor would be uh, a bit better, to be honest. So, yeah, um, in terms of price, um, still pretty competitive, I think. £259.99. Uh, both these bats are, and I'll show you the other one in a bit more as well. So you can see it's not quite as nice looking, but still pretty clean for a grade three bat, as you can see there. Um, yeah, so in the modern day cricket bat market, with the prices being a bit crazy, uh, £259.99 um, is fairly competitive, to be honest. Um, so, so yeah, pretty pretty good, I think, in terms of value for money. Can't really uh, complain with that, to be honest. So why don't you uh, get your hands on one if you if you want to have a closer look in the flesh? You could come down here to the shop in Swindon at Uzi Sports, maybe have a net whilst you're here, like I did, or you can order online. Uh, there's a link in the description. Wherever you are in the world, you could get your your hands on one because Uzi Sports ship globally. That was the Vapor 3.1. I really do appreciate your support. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Please do leave a comment if you want to voice your opinion on this bat or make some suggestions on any other videos you want to see, perhaps ones that I haven't uh, produced for you yet. But uh, yeah, really keen to get some audience feedback on that to help shape the channel moving forward. Um, and yeah, please do support. It's only a hobby channel, this. Um, I can't produce uh, any more videos without your support. So I truly do appreciate it. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot.